Or you were on that show, Fates Motel. Yes, that's right. Lovely to meet you. Yeah, you can put that down and make me a little nervous. Yeah. Sorry yes. about that. Yeah. Uh, hey, first question. Why are you doing the fake British accent? Oh, no, I'm genuinely from Britain. Okay, so in your new series, The Good Doctor. Oh, you're playing a doctor, a British doctor. No, well, it, an American doctor. But, uh, well, that seems like a missed opportunity there. Yes, it's from David Shaw, the guy who created House. He decided to do a new medical show, and this is it. Mm. It's about a surgeon who happens to be a genius and also happens to have autism. Sounds very cool. Your show will air on Mondays, 10, 9 Central, right after Dancing with the Stars. Let's watch preview. Yes, I think that's a brilliant idea. Brilliant. I love that accent. <laughs> Marmalade. Marmalade. Mar oh, the Ooh, queen. The queen. Lovely. Brexit. <laughs> Mini driver. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sean is a high-functioning savant. I met Sean Murphy when he was 14 years old. He was, and he still is, an extraordinary young man. He's got genius-level ability in medicine, and at the same time has the struggles and challenges of dealing with his non-neurotypical brain. In a hospital, you're often dealing with life or death. Any situation where you have a pressure cooker of sorts is going to create potentially great drama. Autism, difficulty in communicating, difficulty in using language. Does it sound like I'm describing a surgeon? He's breathing. He saved his life. Who are you? I'm Dr. Sean Murphy. In House, I had this character who cut through the BS of the world, but in a very cynical way. Sean cuts through a lot of that, but through an innocent way and almost an optimistic way. It's his heart. Adam needs an echocardiogram. No, behave yourself, or you'll be removed from the building. The echo is normal. Show them. He sees things in ways that we can't even begin to understand. Again? Again? There. Looks normal to me. It's not normal. This kid was sprayed with glass shards. What if a piece of glass entered his bloodstream? Blood could be leaking behind the heart. You were right. He's got a serious deficit. The child is alive today because of that deficit. And tomorrow one may be dead because of it. We hire Sean and we give hope to those people with limitations that those limitations are not what they think they are. That they do have a shot.